So. Good morning to you. It's been a while since I've made a video. I was thinking about that last night. I have been hiking with friends and so I really just haven't stopped and had quiet a quiet moment to make a an updated video and um, that's a good thing to be hiking with friends and so I've had a really good time with that and then um, yeah, so I've just been preoccupied. So forgive me, my apologies. But today is Saturday, May the 11th. It's the day before Mother's Day. And it's also the day after my daughter Claudia's graduation. So congratulations to my kiddo. She graduated from Liberty University with her master's degree in graphic design. And uh, super proud of my kid. Super proud of all four of my babies. But, um, I was, it was really an honor to literally hike to her graduation. A sweet uh, friend named Scott came and picked me up from the middle of Shenandoah National Park and drove me to Charlottesville where another sweet friend allowed 
myself and my husband and Claudia to stay in one of her uh, rental homes. So it's just been absolutely perfect. God provides, y'all. God really provides. But uh, prior to that, y'all, I've had so much fun hiking with MacGyver, Sweaty Betty, and St. John, and oh my goodness, Numbers, and Dingo, and the three, my three section hiker friends, Doback, uh, Boot Lips, and Hummingbird Guru. I've just, it's just been a great time, y'all. It's been so, so fun. Um, I just Words just can't put it into, uh, words can't express it, how good, how, how good it's going right now. Um, I'm strong and I'm healthy and I'm uh, just really spending time with some really cool people and I'm getting to talk about Jesus so that's even better Um, but yeah so yesterday Claudia graduated from Liberty so I took two zeros I'm back on trail today I think I'm doing 13 miles today which in the regular world seems like a long way but it's really not out here on the trail so I should be there this afternoon um And, uh, yeah, so looking forward to lots of other things that are about to happen, Um, meeting up with some new people, uh, meeting old friends uh, that are driving up to say hello, and, uh, yeah, it's just been really good. So I'm in the middle of Shenandoah National Park, um, and it's very, very green here, Uh, lots of grass on the trail. I'll show you a little bit. So there's my trail. Yep. So yeah, while my husband and I were together, I definitely uh, sprayed for the, gosh, I think the fourth time, sprayed my clothing with permethrin um, just to keep the ticks down. I haven't had any issues. Some of my friends have gotten ticks so far, but I haven't. Um, Seen a lot of deer, bunny rabbits, and I've seen a couple of snakes, but not any poisonous ones. My friends have seen some poisonous ones, but I haven't. Um, I have not seen a bear yet, which is fine with me. And anyway, so yeah, I'm hiking 13 miles today to a shelter and it'll be fun to see who all's there because I'm I'm like two days behind my normal hiking crew. So it'll be fun to see who shows up at the shelter tonight and who I get to talk to and hang out with. Anyway, you guys have a great day and remember, Jesus loves you. Oh yeah, I meant to tell you. So as soon as I got on trail this morning, I was hiking through the campground and at Big Meadows in Shenandoah National Park and I met the Perch Creek Explorers, which is a family, uh, husband and wife and I think five children. I think it's five, maybe six. And they are through hikers, uh, 2020, 2021. So yeah, and they're actually going to trail days and they're gonna be one of the speakers at trail days. So that was a real honor. They prayed for me and I got to pray for them. So that was really fun. So you guys look up Perch Creek Explorers. stay in the shelter completely solo. It's kind of cool. I'm kind of digging it. Look at that sunset. Isn't that beautiful? Well, have a good night. See ya! something that I have not done before. I have decided to forego the shelter area and tent at the top of a mountain called the Cliffs. I'm at mile 960 for my trek. Here's my tent. Yeah, you can see my shoes. No, I'm not sitting in there. (laughs) Looks like it though, doesn't it? 
All right, so let me show you where I'm camped. So I'm gonna walk over just a short ways from this tent site. And look, I can't wait until the sunset. I will definitely be posting pictures for sure because here is my view for the night. It's a Monday after Mother's Day. I did something this weekend that I have never done before. First, I spent the night in a shelter all by myself. Oof. And then second, last night I tented at the top of a mountain by myself. It was really interesting, you know, this whole trip. I'm almost a thousand miles in and this whole trip I have been surrounded by people. But since um, getting off trail for just two and a half days, I am now in isolation for a few days. And at first it felt really, really weird. But I have to tell you, the Lord has taught me some valuable lessons these last couple of days. Number one, and the most important thing, is that He never leaves us or forsakes us. He loves us. He's always with us. And even when we feel alone, friend, we are not alone. Now, the second thing I have um, wanted to share with you today is a lot of people have been asking about my hat. Love is greater than fear. And they're asking they, um, tons of people every day. Oh, I love your hat. I love your hat. And then the other day I met a family and the dad said, I like your hat, but what does it mean? And I thought about that. And here's what it means to me. First of all, Jesus loves us. I say it every time, but it's so true. Jesus loves us. But the question is, do you love him? That's the big thing. If you love Jesus back, Jesus wants to, you, to be in union with you. He wants to be one with you. He doesn't sit up in the clouds with his arms crossed telling us what to do. He loves us. He wants to be in union with us. So that's love. And that kind of love where Jesus, who loved us that much, where he wants to have such good communication, such closeness with us, that he was willing to come to earth and die a horrible death on the cross for us. That is true love. And that for sure overcomes fear. The Bible tells us, I think, 365 times in some form or fashion, do not fear. Because once we give it all to the Lord, there's nothing to fear. He's got it, y'all. He's got it. So I just had to preach a little bit this morning and uh, just share a little bit about my hat. I am leaving Shenandoah National Park today and headed to see some really, really good friends. Can't wait to show you the pictures. Remember, Jesus loves you.